This video will show you our stabilization wedges to cut down on our carbon emissions. Efficiency transport will allow more hybrids and diesel engines to travel more miles and be more efficient. It will also help lower the emissions from planes and large trucks. This idea is not that expensive and will increase efficiency from 30 to 60 miles per gallon. There are currently 600 million cars in the world, which can cause a large amount of carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere, and the projected amount by 2050 would be 2 billion. CCS Electricity captures 90% of carbon dioxide from fossil fuel power plants and stores it underground. One injection can store a million tons of carbon dioxide, times that by the number of injections that are possible, which is 3,500, and you will get 35 million tons of carbon dioxide stored underground. This process is a little more expensive, but it is worth it. CCS hydrogen will produce hydrogen at 10 times the current rate, which is helpful because hydrogen is needed for fuel and creates 1 million tons of carbon dioxide when hydrogen is generated. One downfall to this process is the expense of it. Wind electricity uses 3% of U.S. land area for wind farms to displace coal-based electricity. Currently, this process accounts for 1% of total global electricity, and if used over the next few years, it can increase up to 30% per year. A major downfall to this process is that the amount of windmills needed to create sufficient electricity would be roughly the size of Germany. Solar electricity will be used to displace coal-based electricity at 100 times the current capacity, which is equivalent to a 100 by 200 kilometer PV array. A problem that is created because of this process is that the land demand will increase. Again, this process is very expensive, but it will help cut down on our carbon dioxide emissions. To perfect this process, solar electricity will require 12 times the size of the London metropolitan area, which is indicated as the red dot in the picture. Biofuels will be used to replace petroleum fuels from plantations to scale up the world ethanol production by a factor of 12. It will not raise carbon dioxide concentration. 20 billion gallons of biofuel can be created per year from corn and sugar cane. This wedge requires one-sixth of the world's crop land to be used to create biofuels to satisfy the world's electrical needs. This amount of land is indicated in the world map of Australia and a few of the surrounding islands. Forest storage will halt deforestation in 50 years and allow new forests to be created for carbon to be stored. This process is very cheap and will save 1 to 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere. Efficiency buildings will use the best available technology for all new and existing buildings. It will increase insulation, furnace, and lighting efficiency. It will have better heating, lighting, cooling, electric appliances, and water heating. This process is very cheap and an easy fix to our problem. Using this information, we were able to create our 8-wedge game board. Our first wedge is efficiency transport. Our second wedge is CCS electricity. Our third, CCS hydrogen, wind electricity, solar electricity, biofuels, forest storage, and efficiency buildings. The yellow represents efficiency and conservation wedges while the blue represents fossil fuel-based wedges and green represents renewable and bio-storage wedges. It is not easy to stop our carbon dioxide emissions since it is everywhere. And what some people might feel work, others may not, so there will be no support and decision on either sides. Many factors have to be considered in order to complete this process. However, we feel our plan has potential, and if the public is open to our opinion, we feel that a decision can be made. We agreed upon our choices because we felt it was necessary for the ones that we had and we thought it was the most logical to start off with. We feel as if the challenges that are faced with our ideas can be overcome and will be supported by many different companies, consumers, manufacturers, and government ideas.